paint correction on Etchberger Trucking. This is Ryan's personal truck, and I'm taking care of all the, the swirls and imperfections, and then I'll be ceramic coating up. So right now I'm working on the gas tank. So the light should pick this up. Crazy amount of swirling and scratches. Notice how the lights, you can barely see the lights. All the circle scratches. We'll take those out quick. Okay, so what am I using? Meguiar's, uh, this is a professional, this is the extra heavy cut. Uh, just a Bauer DA long throw uh, polisher. I know it's super cheap right now, but it is working really good. And then uh, finish it up with a alcohol wash with a uh, clean microfiber cloth. And uh, just wipe it off. You know, it's not taking too much. Keeping my setting lower, three, three and a half. And... Uh, just go to work. Look at those lights now, crystal clear. And this is off the gas tank, so, and the body is turning out excellent. You can even see the microfiber cloth right there, and that's four feet away from the truck. Okay, so this is the other side of the truck. Notice all the, the circular scratches in it. I mean, you can see the light, it's pretty good, but we're gonna take care of all that. Just a lot of scratches in the paint. So there's a lot of, a lot of correction that needs to happen right here. There's quite a bit of scratches in here. And they're just the little tiny micro scratches from either somebody with a brush because at these truck washes, you know, they they don't really care how your, they don't really care how the end product looks necessarily like scratches and stuff, but they just want to get the truck clean. But up close, they're leaving a lot of scratches. There we go. Here's the end results. After paint correction, all the swirls are gone. Look how much clearer those lights are. Smooth all those scratches right out. Fully paint corrected. Um, still got the whole rest of the truck to do but that door is done